that's my golden arrow. And I went from that to this and just a couple of hours, maybe not even that long. That's how it looked originally. That's a super classic golden arrow from Radio Shack. And I'm going to put some hobby grade electronics in it. Got an MG90 servo, a 2S LiPo. And uh, that receiver, I didn't end up using it, but I thought I was going to put it in there and try to bind it. The body looks really great. Honestly, the original body looks great, so I left it off for this whole deal. And uh, there's the board. I just started ripping things apart. This car came with some really cool features. It has a big old ESC back there and a digital digital proportional steering situation up front with a, with a digital servo. Uh, I've got to fish the original antenna out of there, but yeah, I just, I just still, I took that all out of there. Uh, I maybe will put it back together, but I don't have the original controller and that's just fine. Um, I prefer the hobby grade stuff. It's pretty cool. The, I was trying to find out where everything was connected and, uh, the, yeah, so here's the, the steering servo just came out with two screws, had a little simple bracket in the front and it was really lickety split to pull it out of there luckily <laughs> in this situation luckily my steering was broken uh when, it, when i got this thing so it just popped out but it was hellacious to get that clip off so you just do all that and then you desolder the motors and you're pretty much good to go and then here i am remembering that i have to desolder the original battery connectors and she's out of there so I, I fidget with this servo for quite some time. I'm trying to really figure out where I want it to be up there because it just doesn't quite fit. And then it was a, a bugger to get that thing out of there, the original. But uh, I put one of these hex-sided servo connectors in there, and I found a good happy home for the servo, and uh, I, I hated it. It just didn't work. I tried so many different ways. But I ended up just going on. Soldering some butt clips on the motor wires here to be able to just switch my motor direction if I need to you just switch any two wires don't forget your heat shrink it's really important uh, yeah there she goes it's in there didn't take much once you get that I mean really the only thing in here is the steering geometry that you got to think about is you got this all the rest of this stuff there I am trying a new place for the servo I didn't like that either I, I changed that whole setup entirely um, so then after all that was said and done, I put it in the front. <laughs> I shimmed it up and rocked it at an angle there. Um, hot glued this little plate in. Everything's on hot, on little foam plates that I can remove later. And I linked it over toward that right-hand strut tower there. Because, the again, the, the linkages... Uh, there, I'm using the original linkages... I'll make some later. I've seen another video where somebody made theirs and they came kind of out of the bottom a little more. It's pretty sick. Mind you, this whole time I had no idea that battery pack was, uh, or that battery slot was there for the original. So yeah, you touch this up everywhere, make sure it's good to go. And then I, uh, I'm, I'm bracing it some more. It's just, you know, one of those things, just a whole bunch of glue and globs and stuff and spots. It's just it goes you yeah, know it'll stay there and then by that time it just it goes you know there we go and then that happened i'm not really sure what that's all about but it, it happens sometimes that back end just just goes so now that i had all this stuff mocked up i did what any sane person would do and i taped the body to the car i wanted to see it go and this was before i put the the little esc mounts in it and this is the, there she goes, the first drive in what I assume to be at least 20 years. And I get a good burnout. Yeah. It was awesome. Then I took her out with this little truck body on there and, whoop, I dropped it. Now you, you can see how much fun this thing is. I, I just, I really wish I had more batteries because it was quick. It was fun. It was like zippy. And I know if my steering was better and my battery was better, it would be super, super cool. It even did okay in the dirt over there. You know, it's good, good fun. Just good fun stuff, man. And then I, it handles okay, but again, with the battery up top and not in that original hole, she makes a lot of flips. <laughs> Squinchy eyes, you'll see that one. She's a really good fun truck. Look at that. Resilient. <laughs> 
I hope I I don't know. I this is so much fun for me. 